Hardcore Minecraft is not hard enough. All you need is a bed, then you can skip the nights and never have to fight any mobs. So what if I took away the easiest part of Hardcore Minecraft, the ability to stop mobs from spawning by sleeping, and instead was confined only to the caves where they spawn constantly and make Hardcore Minecraft a true challenge. Oh, and also there's no trees to get wood, almost no food, creepers jump off cliffs to try to kill you, and much, much more. This is going to be crazy. Also, we're closing in on 200,000 subscribers. So if you enjoy these videos and you haven't already, press that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Anyway, enjoy the video. Okay, here we we are. Now it looks like the cave we spawned in is blocked off on both sides, so that's great. But we do have glow berries, so that'll definitely be a good source of food when we're starting out. Let's see, what's over here? I do see some clay. Let's see if I can mine through it. Okay, there's- oh, there's more water. <gasps> it's a water cave! I don't know if I can swim through a water cave just yet. Let's try out this side. Now, sometimes in 1.18, a water feature will generate in a cave, and it will split the cave in two. So there might be something else over here. Let's see. Wait! The cave continues, and there's more glow berries. I'm trying not to sprint because I want to save my hunger. More glow berries, yay, food! Ooh, I hear some zombies though. Perfect. Now what's up? <gasps> there's a mine shaft. That means we can get some wood. Let's see here. I hear zombies walking. Ooh, I that sounds like a spawner. I hear a lot of zombies and spiders. Okay, there's one here. Please. Ah, uh, there's more coming. Oh no, oh no, oh no. After retreating to a nearby cave. Okay, let's see here. Can make a crafting table and sticks. This is all I have so far. Hello, Mr. Friend Zombie. Oh no, there's more zombies coming. Ah, this is so annoying. Okay, we have some rotten flesh. That's more food. Let's see if I can get some more wood. I just need a little bit more. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. There's more zombies. Oh no. Where did you come from? I hear baby zombies too. Oh no. Wait, if I make a pit for them to fall into, then I won't have to kill them. Okay, we don't have any tools, so we're mining it with our fist. Okay, I hear so many zombies above me too. There's gotta be a spawner nearby. Okay, I made a pit. Let's see if we can lure the zombies inside. This takes so long without tools. Okay, I hope this works. Go. Yay! Okay, cool. We have our zombie friends trapped inside here. So I can probably continue over here and get some more wood. I just need a little bit more to make a stone pickaxe. Oh god, a zombie with a shovel? Okay, let's lure you guys in here too. Oh my god, a baby zombie. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Please no. Please no. Baby zombie! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. There's so many zombies. Okay, well. Okay, I just need more wood, please. Oh my god, there's a skeleton now. Oh my gosh. I need to lure the skeleton into the hole. Oh, oh my god, please just fall in the hole, skeleton, please. I'm totally gonna die. Oh my god, I'm in one heart. This is a complete disaster. Glowberries give you no saturation. Oh my, oh my god. I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna build this way, and I'm gonna see if I can get the skeleton to go in the hole. Oh my god, I hear spiders falling above me? What's going on? Let's see if I can get the skeleton inside. Okay, go. Go. Oh my, this is so annoying. I hate skeletons. Sounds like there's stuff above me too. Oh my gosh, there's more stuff above me. Hi, how are you? Oh no. How are there so many zombies? If nothing falls on me, I should be okay. This is insane. I can't believe there's wood above me. That's crazy. That's so lucky. And I could finally make a wooden pickaxe. Oh my gosh. Stone age, finally. Yes, there's iron. Oh, but I need stone. Stone pickaxe, here we go. Let's go! Now we can mine some iron. I don't hear the skeleton anymore. I wonder if it's still there. The skeleton's gone. Oh my gosh, that's so good. How did the skeleton just disappear? That's so- <gasps> There's coal right here too! We have coal. We can smelt our iron. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm still alive. Boom. We're smelting iron! Oh, I do hear the skeleton though. I think it just wandered back over here. If I can get some armor, that would be so good. I can't believe this is actually somewhat working. Let's see. I'm gonna make an iron pickaxe and I'm gonna make an iron sword. Okay, I wonder what's up here. Oh wow, that's a lot of case spiders. Wow, I cannot believe I'm still alive. This is so crazy. Um, should I make a chest plate? I'm gonna make a chest plate. I only have two more food. Where am I gonna get my food from? It saw me, it saw me, it saw me. I should craft a shield. This is perfect. Now we can take on the skeleton. Okay, killing the zombies. I need food. Oh no, there's more zombies coming. Okay, I guess we'll lure them into the hole. Oh, there's one right here. Oh no. Blocking this off too. Oh my god, how did he get in here? How did he get in here? I'm really low health. Okay, 
Now, my idea to get food before I got stopped by that skeleton was to go back into that cave where there was grass. I can break the grass and get seeds, and then I can plant the seeds because there's water over there too. But I was quickly distracted. Let's make sure it's completely blocked off. There's the spawner right here. Should I try and go? Okay, let's make some torches because I don't want to break the spawner because that could be really useful later on. The zombie spawner looks like it's over there. Okay, there's a cave spider right here. Oh my gosh. I hate cave spiders. They are the scariest mob and they're so dangerous and hardcore. Oh my God, I just got jump scared. I actually just got jump scared. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I hate spiders. Here it is, here it is. Oh my God. Gosh, I can't believe I just got jump scared like that. That's so funny. I shouldn't be doing this right now. I am getting lots of, of rotten flesh though. Where is it coming from? Okay, that was a bad idea. I want half a heart. There's so many zombies and spiders. It's so loud. Let's retreat back to that other cave. Okay, I'm gonna grab my stuff and I'm leaving. It's way too dangerous right here. Let me gather up as much wood as I can before I leave because I won't have any wood once we get to the cave. You can kind of only find wood on either an azalea tree or in a mine shaft underground. So I'm really, really glad we found a mine shaft right off the bat because otherwise I don't know what I would have done. I'm gonna put a torch up here because I don't want to come back to more zombies. Okay, let's go back to the other cave. Oh no, there's zombies. Oh, skeleton. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. I think we should be okay. I'm just gonna block this off. Okay. This is our home for right now. And there's more glow berries growing. Oh my God, there's a creeper. Oh my gosh. And I do need to make some more torches because it's quite dark in here. Okay, let's get as many seeds as we can. We got seven seeds. Now we have dirt down here too. Wow, this is everything that we need. I'm gonna make a little farm set up too. It's gonna be perfect. Let's smelt up the rest of my iron. And then I also need to make a hoe. Here we go. A seedy place. I cannot believe we actually have a little farm going right now. I might be able to make a fishing rod. Is this how you make it? It is. Okay, now that I have this fishing rod, I'm gonna do a bit of fishing while we let this food grow and see what I can get. And I got my first fish, let's go. It's been a little while and I've gotten myself quite a bit of food. I have eight cooked cod and six cooked salmon. That's the best we've had so far. And I also realized that I have all this iron on me. So I should definitely be crafting up a full set of iron armor, which I think I should have enough for. Amazing. Now we should definitely be a lot safer. I'm gonna let this grow for a little bit longer and I'm gonna go back into the caves and see if I can get that zombie spawner turned off because I really need those zombies to stop spawning. Let's craft up some extra torches because that's what we're gonna need to disable the spawn. Okay, we're back in the caves. I need to not look at that enderman. Wait, what is it doing? It's stuck in the middle of these blocks? Wait, that's so weird. Where is the spawner? Oh, the spawner's right here. Okay, placing the torch. Ah. Uh... Okay, more torches, more torches. Okay, we gotta make sure to get the rest of these zombies killed. Okay, it sounds like the spider spawner is down here. Oh yeah, it looks like it. What is down here? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's place that. And we'll get the cave spiders to stop spawning. I got both of these taken care of. Oh, it's a cave spider. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, I'm running away. Let's check what's in these chests. Oh my God, isn't this super rare? It has the same chance of spawning as a god apple. And we got melon seeds, perfect. Let's see what's in this one. No way. We found a god apple in our first chest. What's this? Efficiency four and the name tag. I think that's probably the luckiest I've ever been in a dungeon chest. Oh, I forgot to block. If I didn't have armor there, I probably would have died. My inventory is bursting at the seams. Let's empty out some things. I can't believe we got this. That's so cool. I've never heard this music just before. Now that I blocked off that cave spider and zombie spawner, it is so much quieter in this cave. And now that it was safer in the mine shafts, I decided to do a bit of exploring. Hello, real spider. You're not as bad as the cave spiders, but I still don't like you. I wonder if my crops have grown yet. Wait, where did I come from? Oh no. I hope I'm not lost. <laughs> I thought I got lost for a second. Um, nothing has grown. <laughs> With the extra seeds I had, I expanded my farm a bit more to a bigger space. Perfect. Let me get it all planted up now. It's coming along, guys. Now that we have this farm going, what should we do next? I think the answer is more exploration. There's so much more of that mine shaft we haven't explored, and I think I saw a minecart chest somewhere. I found a minecart chest. Please be another god apple. Oh my, oh my God, I thought that it was. Oh, we got pumpkin seeds, nice. I continued exploring for a bit longer, but didn't find anything much besides more iron. So I returned home. Now I've gotten so much more iron and I definitely think that it's time to go mining for some better things, like maybe some diamonds because we are underground after all. And the only thing we can really do is mine. So while I'm waiting for my food to grow, I'm gonna make a long strip mine down at the deep slate level, see if I can find anything good. And maybe I can stumble across a cave where I can build a proper house in. So I started my stairs down and not long after I came across. Oh, I seem to have found another cave. It's quite small, but it's definitely a nice cave. What's over here? <gasps> no way. Diamonds already. Wow. We got our first diamonds. 
Please tell me it's more than just one. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. nice. I almost stopped mining. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. All right. I made it down to diamond level. And the only thing that I found so far is lava. So I might try to go above this. <gasps> no way. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. Holy. Oh my gosh. Wait, I was not expecting that. Oh. <gasps> Whoa! Look at this cave! The cave had a huge suspended mineshaft, a massive lava lake, and a big lush cave above it. Wait, I can't believe I actually found this. Making sure there's no creepers that are gonna jump on me. Wow, look at the size of this cave. That is so cool. There's a whole section up there it looks like too. We have actual oak logs now, that's great. I explored a bit around the cave, found a couple of diamonds, and fought off a bunch of mobs. Okay, now so far I found only four diamonds, but I want at least five because I want to make a pickaxe and an enchanting table. Diamond pickaxe acquired. Okay, I got four obsidian and I think I might want to mine 10 more. That way I'll have enough to make another portal. 14 obsidian. I think it's time to head back and empty out my inventory. After emptying out my inventory for a bit, I'm back here in the caves and I'm on the hunt for that last diamond. Now where am I going to find this thing? An axolotl and a baby. Boop. The cutest predator. All right, little axolotl. Where am I going to find some diamonds? Okay, I've wandered the caves far and wide, and I haven't found any exposed diamonds. So I think it's time for me to start a strip mine. Now, hopefully I can find some diamonds. I seem to have uncovered another cave. Come here, friend. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> How are there so many? Is there another zombie spawner or something? Oh, there is a zombie spawner. I hope there's diamonds in the chest. Really? There's no chests? Come on. That's lame. This is insane. How have I not found any diamonds? There we go. Okay. I was gonna say, it looks like it's only one. Again. We finally got our last diamond, and now I can finally head back and craft ourselves an enchanting table. And I didn't even have to go too far. Oh god, this is really... Wow. I have my two diamonds here, I have four obsidian, and I have a book. Sadly, this is my only book, so I'm gonna have to disenchant it because I don't have any paper or leather, so the only way we're gonna be able to make this enchanting table is if I disenchant this book. So I need to make a grindstone, if I remember how. Why is the grindstone the only thing that I always forget how to make? <laughs> it's this and this. Hey, let's go, I actually remember this time. Now I'm gonna have to disenchant my poor efficiency four book. Now we can craft ourselves an enchanting table. Efficiency one or unbreaking one? I'm gonna choose unbreaking. Oh, and we got efficiency one, cool. But it's gonna take a long time for us to get enough bookshelves to get some level 30 enchants. While we're here, might as well enchant my armor. I don't think I've ever enchanted iron things in Minecraft, so this is definitely a first for me. Okay, I successfully enchanted almost everything that I can enchant and now I think I want to relocate myself because I think I want to build myself a proper starter house. So I'm going to move all my stuff down here into the real cave and see if I can find a spot to set up my new starter house. Now I have two options for places to set up my house. I can set it up in the hanging mines or I can try to look up here and see if there's anything else. And I definitely think I'll be going with the safer option which is up in the lush cave area. Okay this is a little bit precarious up here. Because we're right above some lava. Oh, I should have my god apple on me. I keep forgetting. Is that? Oh my gosh, wait, it is. It's an amethyst geode. It's just sticking out in the middle here. Wait a second. Oh my god, that is so cool. Wait, okay, we have to make our base here. I could build like an enchanting table inside here. Wait, this is so cool. Okay, I'm setting my stuff down here. And it's a lush cave, so it's already pretty safe. Wow, we got so lucky. I finished moving all of my stuff, then went around the surrounding caves, lighting everything up. Since I had a close call with a creeper, and I wanted to make sure no more would spawn. I then stumbled across something that I'd been searching for for quite a while. There are the diamonds that I was looking for. <laughs> and finally, in more than a one vein. And would you look at that, right here in our amethyst geode is some diamonds. Now that I have all of my items moved into the cave here, I'm going to start working on my starter house. And I think just over here is going to be the perfect place for it. I'm going to go ahead and clear out these glow berries up here and flatten out the area a bit. That way we can start working on the house. Oh, would you look at that? We found some diamonds. Okay, it's all cleared out. Now let's get to building. As I was waiting for my stuff to smelt, I killed a zombie and look, I got a carrot. We better keep it safe. Since I'm underground, I don't have too many blocks to work with. So I decided to make the walls out of different types of deep slate and keep with a pretty simple design with an oak framed roof. Okay, I have the walls and the roof complete and I'm all out of wood. So I have to head back to that floating mine shaft to get some more wood. Is that skeleton wearing full iron armor? Wait, what? I didn't even know that was possible. Let's get these guys to fight each other. There we go. They're fighting each other. Oh, there's creepers falling from the sky. 
Okay, I got just about two and a half stacks of logs and it was time to leave because things were getting a little crazy over there. And for the accenting on the roof, I think I want to use some brick and maybe some copper. So I wandered around the caves to mine up some copper as well as clay to make bricks. When smelting it all up though, I ran out of coal. So I had to go back to the original cave system, which was higher up where coal generates so I could get some more. I'm finally back from my mining expedition and I finally have everything I need to craft up all of the blocks that I'll need for the roof. Hopefully this looks good. If not, then I'll probably just use oak. And while I'm waiting for this to smelt up, we left our old farm behind, so I have to make a new one here. And I'm down to my last piece of bread, so we definitely need to get this farm set up. After heading back to get my seeds, I got some rooted dirt to turn into normal dirt to use for the farm. Then I started working on the roof of the house, but I got rudely interrupted when this happened. You're joking. A creeper just blew up all of my chests. The items should be okay. Hopefully. I think I still have all of my items. After sorting through all my items, I realized I still had everything. It was then back to work on the house by finishing off the roof and adding some more details around it. I would have liked to use spruce wood for this, but obviously spruce trees don't generate underground, so oak will have to do for now. Okay, the starter house is all done and I have all of my chests moved inside here. It's very, very small inside, so I think I'll be adding a basement, but for now, it'll do. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this episode and want to see more from this series, make sure to leave a like, but I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!